So, you've been searching online for jobs, and you have fallen into the dreaded black hole where you apply online for hours at a time and you never hear back, right? You have no idea if human eyeballs are even looking at your resume. Well, today I'm going to give you some advice on how to overcome the online job search, all right? My name is Tammy Cabell. I am founder and CEO of Career Resume Consulting. I've been um, working in this field since 2003, and I've owned my own executive career firm since 2008. And since then, I've been helping clients get jobs in much less time than what the average is taking. As a matter of fact, to get a six-figure job these days, if you're under 50, it takes on average 12 to 18 months to find a six-figure job. And if you're over 50, it takes 18 to 24 months. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's if you don't have help and good advice from somebody like me. So I'm not here to sell you. I'm here to give you free advice today. So I want to give you a... Um, one of the three ways that I show my clients how to go about getting a job that does not include an online job search. And I understand online job searching is the only thing you know how to do. So I get it. I understand why you do it. You don't know how to do anything differently. But let me give you some advice today on how to go about looking for jobs outside of a normal job search in an online hiring process. I will tell you that even today hiring processes that are posted publicly, not only are there not a lot of six-figure jobs posted publicly, but the ones that are under six figures that are posted publicly, they get between 600 and 1,000 resumes for every posted position. Some of them come through online, some of them come through friends and family and neighbors and, and anybody who refers someone, there's a lot of competition out there and chances are uh, human eyeballs are not looking at your resume. So there is one way, the top way, to make sure that human eyeballs receive your resume and that is to send it snail mail with a handwritten note, not a cover letter, but a handwritten note and send it to the person that would be your boss, not HR, not human resources, sorry HR, but uh, human resources can often be t a barrier to um, getting the attention of the person that would actually be hiring you. And what we found, if we send it hard copy to the person that would be your boss in the type of job that you're looking for, whether or not you know that they're hiring for that job, you get a better response rate than if you just apply online to posted, posi posted positions. The reason being is because you want to, in your resume, you want to set yourself up as an investment and not just a winning candidate. You can get sample resumes of how to do that, how to write persuasively, and how to write a fantastic resume that gets people picking up the phone and calling you by going to our website, which is careerresumeconsulting.com. I've got a ton of free resources on that website, and it will also give you um, free sample resumes, several sample resumes of how to write a functional resume that will give them a 30 second commercial about you versus the chronological resume which everyone does so you're looking at something different you're you're persuading them in a 30 second commercial rather than trying to tell them everywhere that you've been and everything that you've done so let me tell you exactly how to send this resume snail mail to the person that would be your boss First of all, I want you to go to envelopemall.com. That's envelopemall.com. And they are a great resource for high quality greeting card envelopes. And I want you to buy either an A7 or an A9 size. In the A7s, I would go with Astro Brights. In other words, a very bright color. Bright yellow has been proven to get the best response. So you can use a bright yellow greeting card envelope. 
Not any greeting card in there, just the envelope. Okay? And then also, um, in the A9, you can get the metallic ones that are very pretty. You get silver or gold or copper or pearl. Gorgeous colors in the A9. The A9 allows you to take a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and just fold it in half and stick it in there. These are odd shaped envelopes that look like greeting cards that will not it, it will not look like your regular business mail and I want you to handwrite the address on there and I want you to put on the outside of the envelope the person's name care of then the company name and then the address and on the return address just put your street address city state and zip code and not your name because I want them to not know if they know this person or not. They, they're getting the pile of mail in the morning and they see this greeting card and they don't know what it is. They're trying to think, did I miss an anniversary? You know, what, what is it that I'm missing here? And then they open it up because it's hand addressed and it's the first thing that they see and they absolutely want to know what's inside. And what I have my clients do is make a business card with their picture on it because that makes it more personable and less likely to be thrown away. And you attach that with a different funky uh, paper clip. Maybe a gold paper clip to show that you're classy or perhaps an odd shape. Fun they have fun shapes like stars and concentric circles and squares and things like that. You can get those at officedepot.com or you can even go to Office Depot and pick them up. Um, so you want to send it in a uh, in a greeting card envelope and the handwritten note that you want to send, the reason you do that is because it only takes you five minutes to write out a handwritten note and it's been proven to get a much higher response between three and five times that of a cover letter. Cover letters usually take you a couple of hours to put together if you do them right. I mean, it, it literally takes you to personalize it and make it exactly perfect. It takes you a long time. But a handwritten note will do just fine. It will get a better response rate. Here's what I want you to write on the handwritten note. All right? So get out a, a paper and pen and write this down. I want you to write, Dear First Name, comma, New Line. Okay? Dear First Name, I've been researching your company and I would love to talk with you about joining your team, period. Please call me this week, period. Sincerely, your first name. Or you can put your first last name if you want to, but they're gonna have that on the resume. So again, it's dear first name, I've been researching your company and I would love to talk with you about joining your team, period. Please call me this week, period. Sincerely, your first name. All right, now once you do that, you're gonna send it to the person that would be your boss. The way that you find that person is on LinkedIn. You do what's called an advanced people search. So you go out to your LinkedIn profile. If you don't have one, you need one. These days, you absolutely need one if you're looking for a job. It is imperative that you have a LinkedIn profile. Again, if you don't have one, um, feel free to give us a call. We can give you some tips. We can show you some examples. And we would also, of course, be happy to write your LinkedIn profile if you want us to. Uh, you can go out to careerresumeconsulting.com to get that information. You can also call our offices at 816-600-2478 and we do work all over the globe. Anywhere that speaks English, we can help you find a job. So we work via Skype or via phone if you're throughout the United States. We're located in the Kansas City area, but we do work globally. So feel free to Skype us or give us a call. Um, and uh, and so what you'll want to do is on the resume you'll want to make a two inch left margin in, or, in order to put that handwritten note. So you're wanting to reformat 
your resume. And what we recommend is a one-page functional resume that describes what you can do for an employer versus being based on what you have done for employers in the past. Um, you are going to put your achievements on there, so it does have your past accomplishments, but it's really forward thinking and it's really about creating the perception that you want in uh, their minds. And so you're in control of the perception and you can do that much more handily with a functional resume versus a chronological resume. And again, go out to our website, careerresumeconsulting.com, in order to find free samples of those resumes. Okay? So, write a reformatted resume. Now that's going to put the bottom, which is your career summary, on a second page, but that's okay. You don't necessarily want them to see where you've worked in the past because you don't want them to have industry bias. You don't want them to think, oh, they're, they're a telecommunications person. Oh, they're, they work for a candy company. I don't need a candy salesman. Something like that. So you want to, um, you can put that at the bottom, which will be at the second page, and then have that two inch margin in which to write your handwritten note. That is one of the best ways to um, get noticed is to send a handwritten resume. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I get to the companies that I want to work for? Well, this is a very little known fact, and actually, until right now, because I'm feeling generous, I've never actually given this information out to anybody but our paid clients. But one of the best ways to go about it is using zoominfo.com, Z-O-O-M, I-N-F-O dot com. You can also get a free library card and most library uh, services, most, most libraries will have an online business database that will include the Dun and Bradstreet million dollar database and that has every company in every industry, every size in the United States. It's really an, an amazing um, an amazing inventory. You can also get Reference USA, which is a collection of databases. You can get those from your library. And uh, if you uh, don't uh, reside in um, the Kansas City area, you can still get something. You can still get a card from the Johnson County Public Library System. Just look that up on Google. And you can order a card and um, and and all they need is a copy, a scanned copy of your driver's license. You don't have to be in the Kansas City area, but they will give you access, and you can get access to all of those databases for free. You certainly don't want to pay for them because they're tens of thousands of dollars per year, but they will give you that for free, and that's great, great information. You can literally slice and dice the information by industry, by size company, and by size company, it could be the number of people in the company or the annual revenue in that company. So I hope this has been helpful for you today. Uh, I've given you a lot of information on how to send out a hard copy resume with a handwritten note that will get many, many more times the response rate of being in that black hole of online resume postings that you've been dealing with for maybe months or even years. A lot of our clients have been unemployed for more than two years sometimes. And we're able to get them a job in a matter of 12 to 16 weeks and, and sometimes much, much quicker than that, even um, six to 10 weeks, depending on the type of job that you're looking for. So if you would like to talk with us about our services, um, one of our team members would be very happy to talk with you. You can give us a call at our office at 816 600-2478. Again, that's 816-600-2478. Or you can look us up online at careerresumeconsulting.com. And like I said, we've got a lot of really great, uh, oh gosh, resources out there. We've got how to do an informational interview. We've got how to write a great resume, the do's and don'ts of writing a resume. Um, there's there's a lot of free information out there and people don't know this but we have over 20 hours of audio instruction for free that I give my clients 
that you can access for free without ever even putting in an email address. Just look us up online at Career Resume Consulting and you can get that audio instruction. Um, so I look forward to talking to you again soon and have a very productive week and I look forward to hearing about your success. I would love to hear if this uh, type of approach worked for you and I'll be posting more videos very soon and have a great week. Thanks!